where we showcase magicians from all over the world, like this next astonishing Australian. Take a look. The American view of Australia is, you know, Crocodile Dundee, Dangerous Animals, Shrimp on the Barbie, Kangaroos, and of course, beer. I'm Dom Chambers, I do beer magic. I think there's something really cool about making big magic out of small things, like a marker or a mobile phone. A uh, beer magician is quite simply someone who uses beer in their magic. I think it's something that a lot of people can relate to, particularly in you know, rowdy environments. If I fool Penn and Teller, it will change my life. Hopefully I'm going to show them something that they've never seen before. Paper bag. One empty magic gesture. Now inside the bag, a bottle of wine. Yep, it's there. <laughs> it's like, no, no one's actually buying that, are they? Yeah, fair, fair enough. That's ridiculous. I'm Australian. We drink beer. All right. Now they say a good magician will never repeat the same trick twice. Well, guess I'm not a very good magician. Now, I know I promised wine, so coming up, a bottle. Tiny bottle! Please, bang! Wine! Take this out. Nothing in the sleeves, nothing in the... shoe. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to hide. Except for that one. Oh. And that one, that's five, yes! Here we go. No jackets, no sleeves, no shoe. What's up? One more. Absolutely. Uh, Would you like one? No. You no, thank you. Uh, are you sure? I'm pretty damn sure. Oh, fair enough. Um, and is this Australian magic? Because it involves alcohol. <laughs> this is a bit, uh, yeah, this was a new... A new th it's actually a very new piece. Um, but, you know, I, I loved classic stage magic where people would produce doves. And I thought... Wouldn't that be awesome if instead of producing doves or, or rabbits, the magician was just producing endless beers? Yes. So that's This is a fantastic party trick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, let's see if you fooled Penn and Teller. Penn, Teller. Oh, Dom, you know, it's so good to see someone do a routine that makes sense all the way through. Not just these are tricks I know how to do, but just a whole, you know, obviously the Australian theme of drinking beer. But... Um, <laughs> But it all going through, I also love, you know, when you say you're going to do something, to do it. You say you're going to produce a bottle, even though you don't do it right then, you do it. And I think you'll recognize this name, maybe others won't. We've done the Pat Page moment in your, uh, in your thing, the glass from the sleeve. 
That's originally Pat Page, an English magician, and we've done a version of that. But one thing that makes this act so deceptive is the fact that you do the same trick in different ways. You know, and that's a really important thing. Do the same effect with different methods. And we also love the fact that you've got this casual uh, outfit that looks really natural and really modern and really good. And that you use it just like a dove magician would use a, a set of tails. It's really wonderful. And, you know, in dancing, they sometimes use as an insult that the uh, dancer has two left feet. And we can say as a real compliment, you had two right feet. You were just terrific all the way through, but don't <laughs> think you fooled us. <laughs> Does that mean what I think it means? They're all over it. They're very amazing. Yeah, you got me. Thank you so much. This has been the best opportunity, so thank oh, you so much. So good, man. So good. Thank you, John.